What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart. And um How you doing? I hope you're good. I hope your day is going good, your life is good, and you're happy and healthy. Life is good. You know, today, I realised I have to do a video and talk about Berserk, Kentaro Mura. Now, if you've been watching my channel, which I deeply appreciate you watching now, and if you've been watching, you'll know I am the Berserk guy, yeah? But when Kentaro died last year in May, I was very quiet. I didn't do any videos about it, I didn't talk about it. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. The reason is, I couldn't face it. It was the same thing with, um, when Chadwick Boseman, T'Challa, Black Panther died. Look, when I first saw that he died, I was in bed and I saw the notification, but I pretended like I didn't see it and I closed my eyes and I went back to bed. Well, I didn't go back to bed because I wasn't sleeping. I just, I don't know. I had the, the feeling, the urge. I just wanted to close my eyes and pretend I didn't see that and just, that was a dream, a nightmare. Not reality, didn't happen. And... Berserk has been an important part of my life for so long. I did the same thing. But I have completely blocked out that Berserk. It's finished. Kentaro Mura. My hero. He's dead? I'm not acknowledging it. But there have been periods where I have wanted to do this video, talk about it, and it's just too hard, man. I just keep getting too emotional. I keep rambling. Kind of rambling now, but it is what it is. I couldn't do it. Couldn't talk about it. I hear they're doing a berserk. The Golden Age arc. A special version called the Memorial Edition broadcasts. It's going to be starting on October the 1st. And Berserk, the serialization of the manga, has started under Kentaro's studio, his art studio that he founded, and his best friend. Yeah. He got like a new he got like a best friend that he's had for a very long time called Koji Mori. Yeah. They've been friends since art school days. Essentially, Kentaro's Griffiths. Griffith. Well it is a kind of friendship where Kentaro is guts. And Koji is Griffith. And there's some scenarios in Berserk where Kentaro is Griffith. And Koji is Guts. Right? This is for interviews that uh, Kentaro has done and he's dis discussed this. And where Koji has done interviews and he's discussed this. Right? How deep their friendship is. Because Koji's going to be taken over the Berserk manga with um he's gonna be supervising it and working with um Kentaro's assistants that worked in his studio studio gaga okay so 
I feel for me. Volume 40 is where Berserk ended. This is the last volume of Berserk for me. Now, going forward, we're going to have book 40, volume 41. And yeah, I'm going to read it. And it's going to be berserk because at the end of the day, Kentaro did speak with um, Koji a lot. Koji actually did an interview where he said uh, he and Mura have been discussing Berserk's complete storyline since the eclipse happened. That is over 30 years ago. So you've got to think about the fact that Kentaro and Koji, best friends, have been talking about Berserk, the story, the characters, the complete story of where it's going for over 30 years. Okay. Knowing Koji and um, Mori's backstory and who he is and the friendship he has with Kentaro. Yeah. I believe in this guy. He's going to do a good adaptation. And Berserk is still alive. But still, book 40 for me, volume 40, is the end of Berserk. And we'll see what happens going forward. For me personally, Berserk. I started watching. When was it? Berserk began for me 7,892 days ago. January the 1st. 2001 this is where it all started for me with Berserk the DVD not from the manga from this you see I was given this by my dear friend Saurian Dash Back in the day. And I had this for months. And I didn't watch it. I didn't want to watch it. I was curious about it. Because I watched the first episode at my friend's house, Sorry and Dash. But I didn't like the cover. It had like an at the aura about this DVD cover, the box set, I just didn't like it, right? I, even though I was intrigued, I just couldn't bring myself to watch it. Had it for months. Wasn't even close to watching it. Until one day, my brother, he, I think he asked to watch it or something. And it was an afternoon nice sunny afternoon we had the house to ourselves mum was cooking some food and we pull it on just pull it into the uh, playstation and we watched the first episode and it was amazing and i remember watching it and then looking at my brother and thinking what did we just watch the music the characters, the fights, the animation, the, and it's an animated show, but the character has so much emotion. What is this? And then we just watched episode two, and then episode three, and then episode four. And before we realized it, we hadn't eaten yet. Mum had called us to get our food, but we hadn't got the food because we were watching Berserk. And then Mum brought the food to us, and we watched the food while we um, eat, ate the food while we were watching Berserk. Incredible. We watched it into the evening, into the night. I think we got to like episode seven or eight. I fell asleep, right? Because what happened, we kept on going back to watch 
an episode over again. So we'd watch that episode four and then we would go back and watch episode four again because it was so amazing. Okay. So we watched it. And then I fell asleep, right? And I went, I, I fell asleep and then I woke up the next, like early morning. And then I woke up and I saw my brother was watching Berserk with his friend. His friend had come round, right? I don't know when he'd come round. And they were both watching Berserk on the PlayStation 2. Fabian. And they were on episode 7, I think it was. And I was thinking, oh, you guys are watching it. Okay, cool. Wait a minute, have we passed this episode? They had watched all of it and then gone back to the beginning to watch it again. I didn't brush my teeth. I didn't get breakfast. Nothing. We just sat down and we watched Berserk. Unbelievable. Like, the music, the characters, Griffith. Guts, Casca, the Band of Hawk, Zod, God Hand, the Eclipse, the Betrayal, the Love, the Friendship, the Jealousy among Friends, the Desire to be more, leaving people that you love but you know you have to move on or else you will lose your own ambition because of your love for your friends and your comrades. I'd never seen anything like it. At that time that I watched this, I those kind of concepts were alien to me, right? I was a, how do I put it? Because that was just when I was a teenager, yeah? I was, I don't want to say sheltered, but I didn't know much about the world at the point of watching Berserk and seeing all these concepts of fighting and the human emotion and love and tragedy and having a friend and being jealous of the friend that you love because they are so wonderful, so beautiful, so charismatic that you are losing your own ambition. Where is your place in the world? Are you worthy to stand next to this guy that you call a friend when you have nothing in the world? You're putting everything you desire, everything that you're worth into someone else's dream. Nah, nah, I gotta go. I've got to go. Even though I don't wanna go, I gotta go. Those kind of concepts I'd never seen, understood, or comprehended till this. Berserk is so important to me. When I was homeless, so you've got to remember, I had this during my homeless period. I was homeless for years. There are four items that I have to this day that I had with me during my homeless period for all this time over 20 years that is berserk dvd dante that stand i took that stand to be everywhere when i was homeless and i have two other items but maybe i'll reveal that at another time when it becomes relevant right and mint condition absolutely mint see if we can get this out no scratches Nothing. Am 
Mop us up. Okay. So, that's my berserk. One day, randomly, I was supposed to go to school, didn't go to school. I skipped school and went to central London to read comics. That's what I did a lot of the time. When I was supposed to go to school, I would skip it to go to central London to look at, uh, what was it? Um... Image Comics, Prime, Prime, um, Ultraverse Prime, I think it was something like that, I think something like Ultraverse Prime, Image Comics, um, Spider-Man, the Ben Riley Saga, and Batman stuff, Superman stuff, X-Men, um, anything to do with Rogue, because I love Rogue, Ag Magneto. Yeah, just look at posters. That was my goal. Went to um, Forbidden Planet in Central London to do that. Got on the bus, skipped the bus, which would mean I went on the bus and didn't pay for the journey. And as I was in the comic book store, going to find my Ben Riley um, story, which is Spider Man, Scarlet Spider Man, I saw that. And I stopped, I was like, what? What is... And I picked it up, I looked at it, and I was like, oh my god. This is... This is berserk. I was reading this, I was watching the anime a couple days ago. But it was wrapped. So what I did was I went to the counter and asked the person, uh, I'm interested in buying this, but I just want to take a look at it, inside it. And then the person said, yeah, sure, go ahead. You can open it, take a look at it inside it. Okay, took a look. I read the whole m manga in one day in Forbidden Planet. And it blew my mind. But I couldn't afford it. It's like 10.99. I didn't have 10.99 at that time. I was in school. I was absolutely amazed. I saved up and I bought it. I bought this. I think it was 2000 and something. I don't know, 2002, something like that. 2000, yeah, 2002, 2001. I can't remember. I've not opened it, by the way. Look, I've not opened it. This has been sealed. Since 2002 or 2001, 2003, something like that, when it first came out, I said to myself, when I read this, this is my treasure. The story blew me away. I said, I'm never going to open this. I'm never going to open this. This is going to be my treasure. This is a first printing, over 20 years old. You won't be able to tell because it's so fresh and mint because it's sealed but it's over 20 years old let me show you something volume two now if you see there it says first printing in 2004 january 2004 first printing yeah you can pause it I'll find it. I'll find it for you. Right there. First printing basically means that this is the original, the master copy of Berserk. There's only one first printing ever made. And then once the whole first batch is sold, they will always keep one copy of volume two. And then they'll make copies of it and then that will be the second printing. All 40 vol 39 volumes that I have there, they're all first printing. Every single one of them. I don't play about, I don't play around. Now for me, this is the last book of Berserk. 
I'm never going to open this. So, the first volume that Kentaro wrote, and the last volume that he ever wrote. These are two volumes I will never open. They are going to remain sealed. I'm that guy. And I will never sell Berserk. I'll never sell it. Basically, there's no amount of money that anyone could ever offer me that would make me sell Berserk. Let me show you this as well. This is the official guide for Berserk. I don't need it because I know everything about Berserk. But it's damn awesome. It is absolutely incredible. There's even some details in here that I didn't realize. I didn't know. I mean, let's talk about the skeleton, the night skeleton. This has got details about him, who he is, what his abilities are, what his goals are, what he can do, why he's doing it, who he's for, why he's there. This book is godlike. I am about that life when it comes to Berserk. When Kentaro died, That hit me hard, man. The encyclopedia of my life died when he died. When I was younger, Berserk guided me. Now you think to yourself, that's twisted. How a, a story of such death and misery can be your guide. But if you talk to anyone that knows about Berserk, the depth of Berserk, Berserk is a love story. It's a story of friendship. It's a story of having the will to survive, to endure, to overcome. That's the true story of Berserk. I had all of those. There was a time when I had everything. There's a time where, as I said, I was working. I had a lot of money. I had my own house. There was a time where I was fighting all the time. I was getting in fights on the street. I was getting, I was, I had a bad attitude, man. When I was younger, I was getting in fights in school. I was a loner, still am a loner. There was a lot of things. I, as I said, I was homeless. I had nothing. I had to struggle, wriggle contend for my existence every day trying to justify why do i exist should i exist should i just give up where am i going what can i do this is the end of me and even when it'll be easy just to let go you know that voice that says to you it's okay you're all right you got to 17 years old 18 years old you're coming to 19. It's okay. You had a good time. Look at the struggle that awaits you if you stay homeless, man. There's no way up for you. Where are you going to go? You've got no money. You've got no opportunities. You've got nobody around you. Give up, John. It's okay. It's okay. And then you have to have that will that when you want to let go, you tell that voice, Shut the fuck up, I'm busy. You're trying to push forward. You don't want to give up, even when you want to give up. And that's a point where I saw a, a, um, a scene in, Gut in Berserk, where Guts had nothing. He'd been abandoned, he hadn't eaten, and the wolves were going to kill him. And then that voice said to him, it's okay. That point where you want to lift up your sword, for one second, hesitate and don't lift up the sword. The wolf will grab your neck and rip your throat out and it will be over. The suffering will be over. The pain will be over. And then the wolf jumped on Guts and Guts kind of gave up. 
But his body didn't give up. His soul didn't give up. His mind did, but his body and his heart and his will to survive didn't give up. And then when he was lying on the floor, he, he, he's like, I'm not dead. And then he just looked and the wolf was dead. And his sword was stabbed through the wolf. And that's when he realised, I'm the struggler, I'm the wriggler, I'm the contender. I find my reason for living through coming to the, just to the precipice of death. Testing how far I can come to death to verify my existence. There's elements of that I identified with. Berserk, an incredible story. Absolutely wonderful. As I said, it changed my life, man. It helped me get through so much. You know, I do that. Certain things, you know, guide me. Like, you know, I said, like Dexter, the original TV show Dexter. That was an encyclopedia for me as well. Developing myself, understanding people, understanding emotions. Can I develop as a human that loves and all this type of stuff? So I gain certain things from certain media and identify with them. Berserk did that for me. I'm about it. So. I heard that Berserk, the Golden Age arc, is going to be restarting. They're going to be doing a serialization of those three movies. Each movie, three of them, were an hour and a half each. Well, I think an hour and a half or an hour and 20 minutes or something like that. They're going to be splitting that movie into parts and doing it as a TV series. Yeah. And they're going to be adding scenes to it. Additional scenes that they cut out. Which is not a surprise because they cut an awful lot out of those shows. From the manga. And it is over... T it is about 10 years old. Yeah. So you're thinking... How is a 10 year old movie going to work today? You are in for a treat. It's 10 years old. But it is godlike. It withstands the test of time today. Facts. Is that a surprise? I don't know. I mean, look at Avatar. When did Avatar come out? I don't know. Um, I can't remember. I'm sure it was over 10 years ago Avatar came out. You can watch Avatar to this day. And it looks better than most of the CG or movies that you will see today. So, if you're not sure about Berserk. Berserk, the Golden Age arc, that's going to be a TV series. I don't know how long it's going to be. You know, each episode can maybe... I mean, anime these days are about 23 minutes. 24 minutes. But then there's an intro and an outro. Depends on the intro and the outro. The anime itself could be 18, 20, 21 minutes. Could be even 22 or 23 minutes. All depends on how long the intro and the outro is. The Also, at the beginning, we got to remember... They always do a flashback to what happened in the last episode or the end of the last episode. And there's like a middle bit with like a little advertisement. So who knows what they're going to do there. But it should be maybe, I would say maybe eight episodes in total. And also depends on how much they add. So this is an incredible opportunity. For people that don't know about Berserk but are curious about it to watch a TV show that is incredible. It is a small portion of 
what happened in Berserk because the Golden Age arc is a very small segment but an important segment of the story of Guts, Casca, the Band of Hawk, Griffith, the Skeleton Knight, the Knight Skeleton. It's a very small piece of it but as I said it's important the eclipse yeah so yeah i really just wanted to say that you know and the manga uh, creator uh koji mori who's going to be doing the new berserk from here going you know as i said he was a close friend of kentaro yeah um kentaro even kentaro's actually even said that he consulted with koji for years about the story of Berserk, right? And now Koji's gonna be supervising it. He he's gonna um, supervise it. And um, but they said that Mura is still going to be credited with Berserk because he's the original creator. Of course, you have to do that, you know. And Mura was discussing, as I said, the complete storyline of Berserk since the Eclipse was written, and that was over thirty years ago. So Koji has got to have like a a vast understanding of Berserk, right? So I believe in it. I believe in what's going to happen with Berserk. But personally, Volume 40 is where Berserk ended. That's just for me. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's all I really wanted to say about Berserk. It's sad, man. Even to this day, that Kentaro Mura, he died. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, man. The man was a genius, bro. And the thing is, if you talk to everybody or anyone that has watched Berserk, they are fanatical about berserk it's that story if you know about berserk you know about berserk and you love berserk there is no way to read or watch berserk and not love what you are reading because we all have different ways of interpreting and perceiving things and that is the most incredible thing about berserk because Everybody that will talk about Berserk, we will all see the same thing. But there's certain elements that we will interpret in different ways because of our life experiences. And Berserk is a story that has such relatable life experiences with friends and getting through hard times and overcoming that demon, that voice in your head. That tells you to do things that are not good. Or tell you to do things that are detrimental to yourself. Or telling you to give up on yourself. And you fighting against that. And fighting against your circumstance. Or the situation. And you're going to interpret things differently. That's why I love having discussions with people about Berserk. That know about Berserk. If people don't know about Berserk, but they're following the trend of Berserk, I don't have a bar of it. I ain't talking to them, right? Because I'm very protective of Berserk. So if someone tries to talk to me about Berserk or try to make out like their information is better than, is greater than or equal to mine, and they're a Wikipedia person, or they just looked it up and look at clips or highlights or watch some videos or someone talking about it just to get in with the trend of Berserk that's going on that time. I will see through that and I won't have a bar of it, right? Because Berserk is my life, bro. I've been reading Berserk, a student of the, the mythos of Berserk for over 20 years. I love this story. And the fact that, as I said, when Kentaro died, man, 
that hit me hard, bro. It's, as I said, it's taken me a year to even address it because it hurt, man. It did. It did. And when like I said, when I've tried to do videos about this in, you know, last year, I couldn't bring myself to do it. It was too hard, man. I kept getting emotional. I couldn't find the words. It was too sad for me, man. You know, I didn't even post anything on Twitter about it. I liked some tweets of, you know, people paying their respects to Kentaro and Berserk. But I didn't say anything myself, right? Because I just, I couldn't. I, I didn't want to acknowledge it, basically. You know, I'm like that with certain things. I go into denial. I don't really want to look into it and accept it. But now time has passed. I still haven't fully accepted it, but it's time. The Berserk Golden Age arc is coming out. That's going to be incredible. It's coming out on the 1st of October. As I said, if you don't know about Berserk and you think about getting about into Berserk, 1st of October, Golden Age arc is coming, Memorial Edition. It's going to be a serialization, extra scenes added. They're probably going to update the visuals. Don't know how they're going to update the visuals because the visuals are already incredible. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Um, thank you, Kentaro Mura. Rest in peace. Absolute godlike, legendary, maximum human. That changed the world. And changed the lives of so many youngsters and people that have read Berserk and even reading Berserk to this day. Incredible story, incredible man. So amazing to still have Berserk, because we still got it, you know. It's always here, you know. We can always watch it and read it. Another thing I would recommend is if you... The original anime series. This is... I don't even know the words to use. This is... Berserk. Is up there with the best anime I have ever watched. I would say there's I have to tell you the two top mangas animes that I've ever watched. It is Berserk and which is this one and Hunter X Hunter. I don't know which one is number one but those are my two number one. If you're talking about manga that I've watched, and I've read a lot of manga, Berserk, free. Berserk is the best manga I've ever read in my entire life. Anime, as I said, is out of Berserk and Hunter x Hunter, but I definitely know those are my number one and my number two. They might be joint one. If you could do that, joint one. Warriors, I feel relieved. I find it, this video, got it off my chest. Uh, yeah, feels good. Warriors, thank you for watching. Take care, stay blessed. And if you have anything you'd like to say about Berserk, please comment section, I'm always reading appreciate you if you're still watching right now because this is a therapy session for me as well i'm probably going to watch this video back because it's this means a lot warriors you're the best take care stay blessed and i'll see you in the next one laters